Hey everybody, it's Gil here with the Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser, and I'm kind of excited to do this video. Um, this is something Deb and I bought, geez, at this point it's been almost three years ago. We saw a set of Marquip Yacht Steps um, on, a, on a for sale site. We ended up getting these for I think 500 bucks. They needed a little bit of work. The, the casters were about worn out. We needed the pins that mounted to the boat. And we even bought uh, a, a mount that goes on the side of the boat so you can run this thing at 15 degrees, 45 degrees, or 90 degrees off the boat. Um, the ones we ended up getting were the nice ones. So they're the teak, the teak ones. Uh, you know, it's a fake teak um, decking on them. And now it's just a matter of replacing the casters. Uh, West Marine actually had the little pins that go in the latch. So there's, a, there's sort of two legs that stick out and then the steps go between it and then you put a pin through all of those, a locking pin. West Marine had the right size for that, so for a, you know 25 bucks or so, I was able to pick up two of those pins. And I'm having a hard time with the casters. I would love to know if somebody here knows how you get these off. So these are the old casters, and you can see the rubber is just worn completely off of these, or they're shot. Um, they feel a little bit loose in there, so they're pretty worn out. They, they rotate pretty well, but they squeak a little, so they kind of probably need to be replaced. Uh, and I figure the play is not great in there. The thing I don't know how to do, however, is get these off again. There's not a nut on the other side that I can tell. Um, maybe there's something underneath the treads, but I want to pull the teak treads off. This one is exposed. There's a, like an aluminum cap on it. I tried using some vice grips and even a little, um, a little um, scraper to get in there and see if I could tap it down off of there. I wasn't able to. So I've got a, a call into Marquip or through their website to ask them if they can tell me how to remove these and my understanding is they sell these as well so I'm going to check and see just what they cost but in the meantime I wanted to try and get these things connected so I went to just uh, you know a little local hardware store and picked up some uh, casters that had wheels that were about the right size and what I'm going to do with these is um, take these bolts off throw away the mounts and I'm going to put the wheels in these actual mounts that are here so that way we can go out and put this thing on the boat so I'm excited to do this um, if you've never seen these steps, they're sort of self-leveling. So when you hook them to the boat and they can move around with the, as the boat shifts around from tide or anything else, uh, the casters allow it to rotate and move around and they always remain parallel. Uh, so the steps are always uh, horizontal. And if your boat, if the tide goes up and there's a pretty good distance between the boat and the height of the dock, um, the steps sort of increase in height. If it were to um, drop down very low, then they, they almost go flat, kind of like you see, well, you can't really see this too well, but, but you might only have a three or four inch rise with each step. Um, the set we bought did not come with a handrail, but I gotta tell you, this thing is heavy. It's seven feet long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight step unit. Uh, most of them you see are gonna be four or five steps. So this thing is heavy, and we're gonna try it out for a while. We might decide that we need to cut it down shorter and if we need to we'll figure that out and, and do just that but um, we'll start here right I mean why, why cut it if we don't need to it's made of aluminum so you'd think it'd be lighter weight but this thing probably weighs about 65 or 70 pounds um, which doesn't sound horrible until you need to get on or off of it easily so it's probably gonna be something we'll leave here at the dock and when we take the boat out we'll unhook it and roll it on and set it down on the dock uh, but that's our goal so let's get these casters on here and then we'll go get this thing installed on the boat. Check it out. All right, so I've done a little bit here off camera. Um, you saw me put the wheels on before. I've turned it around uh, and I took off one of the steps. And I did that because I started to notice a problem here where the bolts that attached this to the rails, I could see here that the aluminum had been cut away and it was missing one of the bolts. And I think what happened was, um, this thing probably got jarred around in a storm or something. So the threads that are inside this housing alum uh, housed aluminum must have got damaged. And somebody in the past had cut that away so that a nut and bolt would fit into it. So that's kind of where we were. I went ahead and picked up a couple of these old push pins and I just ran up to West Marine to use their tools to go ahead and create these swages so I can um, essentially keep these things from falling down in the water and it's okay if they dangle there. Same with this. This is now attached as is the attach point as well. So all of this is kind of ready to go. I'm just going to bolt this step back on and we should be set. It's kind of handy that West Marine has a swage machine you can use. Um, 
They will not do it for you. That's on you. But it is really handy. I also went ahead and bought new stainless steel bolts. The old ones, if you can see that, they're all sort of bent. So that's why I believe it got jarred pretty good. All right. Let's get start with the with the ones that go inside of aluminum housings. Now to go put them out on the boat. All right, so this is right here where it connects, and you can see the female end right here, the stainless steel one or the aluminum one is actually for the boarding ladder, boarding stairs, and then the little hook is for the side ladder for you know getting in or out of the dinghy. But it connects on both sides, and then that post goes right below the rub rail on the black portion. Let's see what it looks like here. I've been working on these yacht steps and it's been almost a week and I need to get back to them. What's interesting is once I put them up on the boat, they really turned into more of a ramp. The, the steps weren't remaining horizontal as I went down, as, they, as the tide went up and down. It just flat out, just went flat like a ramp. Um, so I actually had to call Marquip, the designer of this, the builder. I couldn't quite figure it out. And it turns out this little leg right here kind of tucks underneath here and it had this, this cord that wasn't attached to anything and this pin, I went to West Marine and I got all these pins in place because they weren't there from the used one bought. But basically I had this, this little um, fitting just, I don't know, a foot long and I had it basically thinking, oh, if I pull this thing off, I, want it, I don't want to drop it in the water. That's all it's there for. Well, it turns out it has a very specific use. There's a, a rubber leg that goes on the end of this. Here's what happens with this. I'm gonna turn this upside down. So here's my step, and it attaches at this side to the boat. So the step is attached to the boat right here, and this leg has to sit horizontal. And before I had it so long, it was going down at an angle like this. So now what I need to do is I need to trim this one inch longer than this, because this is one inch away from the boat. What I want to do is trim this bar so that when this thing is hanging on the side of the boat, this bar is leaning right against the hull like this. Right, this part will be gone. And that is what keeps the step always horizontal. It always makes it remain at that same level. So as the boat goes up or down, it actually will separate the two splines here that, that control the front and back of this step. So that's the plan. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this thing uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Or I think I'm gonna cut it because I'm gonna do it with a hacksaw so it'll be interesting. going to clean up the end of this a little bit. It's going to be sharp, so I want to make sure I don't cut myself on this thing. Now it's just a matter of getting this little guy on here. Yeah, I use my spit to lubricate. We go. So that should give me the angle we need. Time to go test fit it. And before I bolt all this back to the steps, I'm just going to test fit this top one because it should remain parallel at this point. I won't stand on it because it's just going to be supported on the bottom to one side. I'm going to torque it back and forth. Though I did hear exactly what I said I wouldn't do, and I recognized the mistake immediately. What can you do, right? It's back to West Marine. Uh, it looks like I didn't actually crimp those little swage or crimp sleeves tight enough when I doubled up the line and made a small loop around a thimble. When I attached the steps right there, as you saw, I put a little bit of pressure on it, and it quickly um, dropped down. And what dropped actually was where I had crimped the two pieces of stainless cable together, they one end of it slipped out of the crimp. So I went ahead and cut the heat shrink off of the piece that was on there originally so I could see if it was a different style crimp that they came from the manufacturer on the end that was already fixed. 
and I can see that it was definitely crimped tighter. Um, I probably should have crimped it once like I did and then put it in the next setting smaller on the actual um, crimping machine. So I'm now off to do that. I'm gonna have to remake the whole cable though because I don't have enough slack at this point to refit what I already had in there. So now it's gonna have to be a new piece and I'll have to put ends on both sides. So you live and learn, right? That's what they say. All right, off to West. I'll show you the fitting so you can see what I did wrong here. This is the crimp that I did up at West Marine using their small tool and it's the one that pulled out. This is the one that came from the manufacturer and you can see the depth of the ridge lines. It's definitely deeper. So I will be squeezing this thing a bit tighter. And I think I'm also not gonna try to make my loop at this end as short as it was before. I was going around a very small thimble and I think I will not do that this time. So there's my part. Uh, cheapest I've ever gotten out of West Marine at $6.22. I bought two feet of this uh, eighth inch stranded stainless cable, uncoated, and a little package of these crimps. Uh, and then I used their machine to uh, crimp these on, as you can see. And I left a little bit of slack there because I'm a little bit worried that might have been why the other one pulled out. I didn't have it all the way through because I didn't want to leave those ends there. I think I'll do this and worst case, I will heat shrink over the top of it if this works out well. Well, you know what they say, right? Third time's a charm. So let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what we're about to do. And then I'm going to climb up on the boat. Uh, use a couple of lines to pull it up over to the edge of the dock and attach it. Let's see how well this works. I'm not just testing the step only this time. Figure if we'll go for it and see how it goes. So you can see I've got the steps just sitting on the ground right here. And uh, yeah, climb on board and see what happens. I've got these lines that I can toss up there to help me move it. Well, the tide's fairly low, but I will admit, it's pretty nice to be able to just walk up these like regular steps. Well, finally, I guess I can call it successful. I mean, it feels like we bought these things two years ago, maybe two and a half. Uh, they sat in the storage shed forever, tried rebuilding them. I actually think I could use a small adjustment. Remember that tube I cut before? actually feel like either I could have made it slightly longer or I could have made the cable that's holding this um, holding it horizontal maybe just a tad bit higher uh, the steps may be angled down just the tiniest bit but that's gonna be okay and maybe someday down the road if the cable ever breaks again then I'll make it shorter next time I do it all right with that I hope you guys enjoyed this video on redoing the yacht steps and we will see you next Friday for another video bye y'all safe sailing <laughs>